Friends, the Lord be with you. It was so wonderful to meet more of you on Sunday and it was a privilege to lead us in our intercessions uh, here at St Michael's and at St Nicholas uh, with Bishop Paul. It was also a joy to be commissioned as your pastoral assistant by the Bishop to go out into our community to do mission and ministry. In the short commissioning liturgy that we uh, did at St Nicholas's, I made several promises. Promises that will shape my ministry among you and by God's grace allow me to be a blessing to you as you will be a blessing to me. One of the promises I made was to work for peace and reconciliation in the community. When we look at our town and across our country, the church is by and large shrinking. Shrinking in numbers, shrinking in influence, shrinking in financial wealth. These are hard truths that the church is having to grapple with. But at the same time, we are growing. Growing more than we have ever grown before. In many ways, I see a church that's in transition. A church that is more than the building. A community of discipleship. A community of love and peace that is working more than ever out in the community. To support the vulnerable. To feed and clothe those in need. To comfort people in their darkest hour. We are a community of blessing that has been sent by God to serve wherever he puts us. And in doing so, proclaim the good news of the kingdom. So as I embark on my new role with you as pastoral assistant, I want to discern alongside all of you how we can be blessing our community in Sutton. In getting to know all of you and being there for you over the next year, I want to find out more ways that we, as the church, can be mobilised to help out in our community and pray for those around us. It is in this way that we will be the heartbeat of God in our community. I want to share a short passage with you uh, from Hebrews uh, chapter 10. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. This, friends, for me, is so relevant for us in these times of pandemic, on how we as the church are called to be a community of blessing. How we can encourage each other to do good in the community, to be vessels of God's love to those around us. How we can be sent out in the power of the Spirit to live and work to the praise of God's name. How we can encounter God in our community, but also counteract that distance that has been growing for so many years in society. As Paul refers to as giving, not giving up meeting together. I want to see us as God's church here in Sutton, strengthening those connections that bind society together and forging new links here in our community. As we continue to navigate those choppy waters of this pandemic, I want to galvanise all that local knowledge that you in the community have learned over the years you've been part of society here in Sutton. In the coming weeks, I'd love it if you'd email me uh, any ideas that you might have of how we can help our community more and pray for those around us more. My email address is samrigby.suttonparish at outlook.com. I would love this to be a process that will re-enliven our connections with those who are part of our church community and reach into those places where people need our pastoral ear more than ever before. So please get in touch with me and let us together bless our community in Sutton. Let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks that you have called us to serve you here in Sutton. We give thanks for the many opportunities you have already given us to be your hands and feet in our community. But today, Father, we pray for a new vision 
of how we as your church may bless our community. We ask you would highlight new ways that we can reach out to our parish and show your love to those around us. And we pray together that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us all evermore.